sorry y'all, I had the, uh, the wrong screen on. But you didn't miss too much, I decided to select a Romulan. When I upload this video later, I'll just uh, edit the video, cut out the um, part where I wasn't streaming. So many hairstyles, I don't know what to go with. Let's go with this one. Can I be chunky? Oh yeah, I forgot, I could color it. What we knew is gone. Our home, our lives, all that we were, dust, blasted across empty, heartless skies. But we live. Our legacy lives within every ship we fly, upon every world we touch, in our hearts, in yours. There will be challenge. You will know fear, but you will overcome, you will survive, and answer vengeance with blood. You will do as you must. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy cannot be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future. In enemies, find allies. There is no price we have not paid. No loss we have not felt. Our dead world, our long suffering, these are not ends. We are not ended. For your crew, for your people, for this new home, we must face all doubt. We must break the strong who would destroy us and overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must, we will. For we are Romulan! The youngest of our kind rely on stories to know what our people were like before. Strong, secretive, warlike. We were feared. We were powerful. Then, Everything changed. 22 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our home worlds. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. One day, we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy. And the next, we were just trying to survive. Every day was a struggle if you weren't part of the militant and oppressive Tal Shi'ar. 
or ruling everything from on high like Empress Sila. For ordinary Romulans, military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. The Klingons and Starfleet are at one another's throats. The battles light years away don't affect us much. The tall Shi'ar are the more immediate threat. They're rebuilding the Empire by force and pressing anyone they think can help into service. But even they don't seem to know we're here. We've put down roots and found friends. Today we'll celebrate what we've created. With hard work and some good fortune, true Romulans will once again rise to be a power in the galaxy. The first step on that path begins here. Your current tasks will be displayed here. To move, use the W, A, S, and D keys. To look around, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. There you are. The security chief was looking for you earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. Avrak's been filing reports all night about Kellogg's chewing at the vines. He's really worked up. Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellogg behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Avrak's messages before you head out there. Interactable items have a glow around them. Walk up and press F to interact with a console. Tell me you'll help me. Kellens are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes, and everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. There won't be any party if everyone's knee deep in water by nightfall. Get over here and help me fix this. If the Kellens are chewing up the vineyard, you should probably grab a pistol. Just in case. I'd join you, but the chief has me looking at the... Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Ready for the big festival? Working hard? 
Or maybe you have time to listen to a story or two? Hmm? Avrak! <laughs> You're in for a fun day. I'm glad I don't have to deal with him. Anyway, do you want to hear it? Finally. Which message do you... Oh, never mind that either. It's chaos here. I need some help. Normally we collect nectar from the local Keladin sites. Something has driven them into a frenzy. They're chewing on our irrigation system. And flooding the vineyard. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, the broken pipes are obvious. They're the ones spraying water everywhere. Kelet shouldn't give you too much trouble. Uh, a few bursts from your pistol will take care of that. Flooding has stopped, but if those Kellids come back, they'll just break the pipes again. Something's making the insects go crazy. With bugs this size, that's a real problem. And if I follow might be able to help if she's goofing off again. She knows all about Kellids. She's normally down by the greenhouse this time of day. Tell her to stop being lazy and keep these critters contained. Good idea. Talk to Milan. Just in time. Did you talk with Abrak? He said that I'm what? Lazy? That I've been... Ugh! He's just trying to make me look bad so he can get a promotion. Ugh, that's so old-fashioned. Let me tell you what's actually happening. The Kellids are going crazy. I've been working all day to keep them out of the residential areas. This aggressive behavior is new, and we need to figure out...
trapped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. some kind of fungus growing on it that's similar to the spores we found on some of the Kellid carapaces. It might explain their behavior, but how are they getting infected in the first place? Also, the flying Kellids have never come out of the cavern before. This is... You're right. The source of the infection could be somewhere inside the cavern. Head over there and see if you can find out what's aggravating the nest. And be careful. A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. What do you need with an old space hound like me? Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. 
The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. Good idea. When we ran into something like this before, we were able to stop the spores from reproducing by bombarding them with tachyons. We have the equipment here to replicate that procedure. Some missions in Star Trek Online will change based on your career track, engineering, science, or tactical. seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. We didn't know what to believe. But I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them. And it could happen again. That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. What Devek says is true. We don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled. Why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy. Ready for the big festival? Working hard? Or maybe you have time to listen to a story?
done for the day? I'm just finishing up too. I'm going to head back to the restaurant. Meet me for a drink when you're done. Hey there. Long day? I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tal Shi'ar. Word is, someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... Me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival. Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The kellet nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled. We have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together. get the shuttles ready. You should find Navala and Vorian to help organize the militia. Get as many civilians to safety as you can. After that, we stop whoever or whatever is attacking our home. Just keep coming! Get a battery from the marketplace. 
Boys, we need to send out a distress signal. Congratulations, citizen. showed me how to fly his warbird. We're almost there.
Navigation is online, but we need some components to get our weapons and warp drive operational. We'll need both if we want to have any hope of fighting the Tal Shiar. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed by using Q. Position yourself near the ship and press F to interact with it. This'll do nicely. We just need a little more salvage. Use W and S to move up or down. Use A and D to turn left or right. Weapons are online. Let's test them out. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your torpedo to attack enemies who are not shielded. Warning, ship is under attack. Scrap Neutronium. We could use that to reinforce the hull of this old warbird. Three more of these should get this hull good to go. Good shot. by the ship by flying toward it. The Vex would be happy to see this old warbird get some use. I think it's safe to say weapons are fully online. Time to take out the tall Shiar satellites dead ahead. Use your plasma beam to weaken shielded targets. Shield is down. You must be 
Systems are go and full impulse is back online. I'm picking up a distress signal nearby. It must be people from the column. The distress signal is close. Searching. There! We have to help them! Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it again. Turn off full impulse. There's a tall Shiar drone dead ahead. I'm back on the bridge, and I figured out how I can improve our torpedoes. Activate high yield torpedo by clicking on the icon or pressing Alt F1.
the elements. We thought we were done for.
think it's safe to say we're a fully operational... There aren't any colonists here. Just this strange ship. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's gigantic. Engineering reports that the ship has scanned us, but they're not responding to my hails. What should...